Hello everybody and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Movie reviews from a regular dude. Where I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos. Today I'm checking this one out. It's a 30 minute alone challenge. It's supposed to be like in a haunted trailer house and it's from Heather's Hauntings. So, uh, fact or fake, I don't know. Let's find out. They tried to warn me not to do it, but I just had to. After our investigation the night before, I needed to come back here alone. If I really, really like it and we get a lot of good stuff, guys, I might come back for an alone challenge tomorrow. I would caution you not to do it. Why? Me too. Well, I really not believe good. that there's like some kind of evil spirits here. I could be wrong. I don't know. Are you alone? I don't know about that. I don't know. We'll see. Because right, everybody right. has been wanting me to do an alone challenge for a while. I have yeah. not done one yet. All right, guys. So I did it. Finally. I'm getting ready to do my 30 minute alone challenge. All of you have asked me when I was going to do it, where I was going to do it. Something drew me back here. I am at the Poltergeist trailer. The one that we came to last night with. I Joe, would do it. Chris and Todd, as well as my friend Kelly. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I need to come back here. Uh, Joe told me don't do it. He's like, Heather, don't do it. I'm telling you, you don't want to be there alone. But I am here, and it is 2 a.m., and I'm getting ready Sounds to Sounds like a lot of traffic. I'm nervous. It must be like right next to a highway or something. Tonight, but uh, I'm going in, and you guys are coming with me. Here we go. Hello, anyone here? Just me, Zozo. I swear I thought I already heard something. Okay, so the first room I am going to go into is the room where we did the spirit box session and... When we were here last night, like, the hairs on my arms just straight stood up. We sat in this room, and uh, we turned the lights completely out. And in that room there, I heard something, and uh, all of a sudden, well, actually, I seen something move. And then, oh my god. Hello? The only thing that I brought with me tonight is my mace. I did not bring my gun. So that scares me a little bit. Well, if it's a ghost, a mace isn't going to help. A gun's not going to help. Guys, I'm really creeped out. The hairs on my arms, again, are standing up. I don't know if you can see that. The same thing happened when I was in here before um, last night. Actually, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Right oh my God! Did you guys see that? We are near a major highway. I'm hoping that the sounds that I hear are just—I mean, you can hear the vehicles, but maybe there's—I don't know—something going on out there. All right, I cannot see in front of me. just heard that, right? Why is it this room? Why am I drawn back to this room? What the fuck? Hey guys, like I hear noises. It sounds like creaking. This is a trailer, so if somebody's walking yeah. in it, it's going to creak. And that's what scares me. Looks like... Oh, fuck this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think she's there alone, Guys. personally. Something just happened in there. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, my God. Why am I back here? Why am I back here? I'm so stupid. What the fuck? Okay, 
it looks like an old like meth house or something all trashed hello guys that was not well like, we didn't see it though the fuck? I don't remember seeing that Please tell me in the comments if I make it out of here alive, if that was there before. I don't remember seeing that. And then this thing is like, what the fuck? Okay. So what I always try to do when stuff like this happens is think, okay, maybe, maybe it just fell. A varmint. Maybe there was a rodent in here. A raccoon. A raccoon. Oh, my God. oh, fuck this. I don't know if there's like rats in the ceiling. Like maybe, yeah, maybe that's what it is. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it out, um, or make it through the whole 30 minutes. I don't. I don't know. It's only been five minutes. I'm watching my clock on the camera. This is gonna be completely uncut. Okay. Because I want you guys completely to really uncut. Really experience what I'm going through right now. I heard shit in here, so I'm walking towards it. I don't know why this is over right now because I came in this way and it was not freaking like that. Okay, so maybe something broke. Maybe that's maybe that's all it is. It is raining outside. I just heard a bang on the roof. And I'm just telling myself to breathe. And that maybe the wind is bad outside and a branch broke and fell. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. Okay, that's the that's the problem in my opinion with a lot of these videos. Is uh, they're always saying, I just heard a noise, I just saw something, but we don't see anything. We don't hear anything. The only thing that I've been hearing so far is like things falling over and stuff like that but that doesn't prove that no, somebody didn't go there with her there's just no proof i mean i'm not saying it's not real but it you cannot say that it's real either so i i don't i don't know and i just hope like there's not an actual person I think that would be a little better than having Zozo or something the in there. Walk through here with me and clear the place out. Hello? Is anybody in here? No one here but us demons. I think that might have been my, my bag. It just bumped something. Let's see, like I hear this is the same spot. I was standing in this spot last night and I heard the ceiling creak. It just did it again as soon as I walked over here. We didn't hear it though. Right, guys. I, I didn't I'm, like, anyway. I'm really scared right now. If my mom knew I was doing this, I didn't even tell her. She knew I, I was doing this, she'd be really pissed. She'd be like, Heather, why did you go there by yourself? All right, I am at seven minutes, guys. I still have 22 and a half minutes left, and I'm out of here. I can do this. This room is not as scary as out there. And uh, the other room across the way. Like my stomach is turning um, really bad right now. Actually, I feel really sick to my stomach. When we were here last night, Kelly got really sick. She got dizzy. Like we had to cut the video. She didn't want to come back in here because <coughs> she was here and shit and. Really? Guys, there is a freaking chair in the doorway.
Let me know in the comments down below. Is that the same doorway that she went in? I, I can't remember. Now, you guys seen me come in through this door. This chair was not in the freaking doorway. Now I'm freaked out. Okay. There's gotta be, like, something, like, really evil here, or somebody messing with me. I don't know. But that really scares me, that news right there, because I don't think that... If it's a, if there's a noose there, it's been put there by a person, not a demon, not a ghost. Hello? Hello? I just feel like straight crying right now, and I'm trying it my could best be to that be strong, be brave. A serial and killer's little place. Challenge. I'm just going to sit my butt right here, and if anything happens... I'm running out that door. There's a door right here. And I'm running out of it. Alright. I'm turning this light off. Because I'm afraid that if there is somebody outside, then they're gonna... To me, it, it sounds like it could be a raccoon or a s squirrels or... It could be anything. Turn the light back on because I like just legitly like heard fucking footsteps, man. I'm going in here. I I I don't know if it's like down the hall. I don't know. Guys, I don't know if I can do this. I'm trying. I'm trying. <gasps> Joe was not kidding. Guys, he's going to be so mad. He told me. Is that? It's got to be the rainstorm. It's got to be. I'm telling myself that. Okay, I'm really hot. I, I got to get out of this room. Chair, but maybe not. Maybe I left it. Okay, I'm gonna tell myself I left it. Well, if I would have walked through that door, I would have moved it instead of trying to scoot by it. So, if you did come in through that door, um, but Joe told me he said Heather, don't do it. He said, like, if you do, he told me to call him. I did try to call him. He didn't answer. He's probably sleeping. He came here on many occasions and did videos and I don't know why, but tonight I just felt the need to come back here. Like I felt, I don't know, it intrigued me like to come here. I knew this is the place I was going to do my 30 minute alone challenge. I'm just super scared because of all this stuff that's happened while I've been here. Like this place is no joke. Like, I hear the ceiling creaking. Like, do you guys hear that? Okay. That sounded like... Like a... Did you hear it? I don't know if it was like a disembodied voice. And you know what? I I was gonna turn the spirit box on tonight. I did bring it. And uh, I've decided now that all this stuff has happened, I'm not turning that spirit box on. Why not? Oh my god. Alright, guys. I'm almost 15 minutes in. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I just gotta breathe. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. I've I don't know. I gotta go by the doorway.
away because it's too fucking hot in here and it's okay I'm moving this chair now I swore I thought I had this shit before but I'm so freaking creeped out right now I don't think I did at least if I'm standing by the doorway I could just run out guys my eyes are like moving 90 miles an hour because I know what I've heard this is just straight evidence here. Not really. No. I'm almost to my 15 minute mark. Almost halfway. I can do this. I can do this. Guys, I'm like shaking. Like, no lie. Like, my hand is like... Go in there. I'd go in there. It's the same room that we did the spirit box session in. And uh, Kelly was afraid to come back in. She was like, no, I'm not doing it. She was, she was terrified. Is anybody here? Who did this? You can speak into my camera, just don't scare me. It sounds like somebody is walking in here. Listen. I just heard voices. I just heard Okay, I hear that. It's really weird sound. It didn't sound like a normal voice. It sounded like a like an audio. Yeah, it sounded like a car radio or something. Yeah. Or a megaphone from far away. Now I am officially creeped. You can see my freaking hair follicles standing up. That door was not shut. I just came from in there. You guys seen me come from in there. It's shut. I don't even know if I want to go in there now. Oh my god. Where... Okay. Wherever the noise is coming from, that's where I'd be going. To see what the hell's going on. Instead of running away from it, go for it. Go in there and see what's... what it is. This is, I can't, I can't, I can't, but I have to, but I can't, fuck. You guys know I have anxiety. You guys know Well then why do you ghost hunt? I don't, um, handle the ghostly stuff too well when crazy poltergeist type crap happens. And that's what's going on right now. Like, this is for real, like. They just... On a lot of these channels, I've noticed, they sit there telling you all this stuff like they're trying to just plant it in your head. I know this wasn't here before and everything, but we didn't see that it wasn't there before. I don't know. This could be real, but I'm kind of having my doubts, to be honest with you. Hello? There's nobody in here, guys. There's nobody in here. Okay. There's something in that damn mirror. It had to have been the wind. It had to have been the wind. This is not cool. I came here alone. What the hell is wrong with me? Thank you, Jesus. I can't. I can't do this. Alright. Guys, I will say. Let me fix my camera. 
out of all the places that I've been to, this one is by far the creepiest of all. Like, we've been to so many places, the Haunted Garage, um, just so many places that we've seen spiritual things happen, and some places we go to and we spend hours there trying to get stuff. Guys, I've been here 21 minutes, and I've had doors shut, I've had, there's a chair in front of the freaking door that I did not put there. I don't remember if this noose was still here, like, last night. Um, something fell over in the living room. Could have been the wind, you know, it is raining outside, and that's what I'm telling myself. It's been storming. I heard shit hitting the roof. There's trees all around it. I'm thinking, you know, maybe it could be... It's branches. Maybe it could be something broke off. There's some old trees, and maybe that's all that happened. I don't know, guys, but Joe was right. He told me don't come here alone, and you are going to be creeped the hell out, and I am. I'm going to be probably blowing his phone up when I turn this camera off. And I cannot wait to share this footage with him. It's getting hotter, like, by the second. So I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to move spots. Alright, so by this door, it's a little breezy. I swear in the camera, I thought I just saw a face, like right there. So I will have to play that back. Is it this one? I don't see anything there now. So whatever the hell that was, it's almost like it went into that back room, shut it and locked it, and I haven't heard shit since. The weather outside is very, very wet and nasty, and I have 15 seconds left. I did it. 30 minutes alone in the Poltergeist trailer. Holy shit. Holy shit fire. Alright guys. I'm going now. I'm, I'm done. But I will tell you, I will never do this again. Like, I will never come back here alone again. Like, this terrified the shit out of me. My hairs on my arms are still standing up. But I'm going to start walking back to my car. I'm going to get out of here. Um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'm going to head home and um, play this back and see if I captured anything on the camera. I cannot believe I made it out. 30 minutes. Nothing touched me. And I thought for sure I'd feel something touch me while I was here. I didn't feel that. Just a lot of crazy shit happened. So, alright guys. That's it. 30 minutes alone in this place. I love you guys. I did it for you. Peace. Okay. Uh, I don't know. That could be true. But it just seems to me that a lot of these channels like this, they, they're just planting stuff into your head. You know, you don't hear any of it. But they're constantly saying stuff like, I just heard something. That chair wasn't there when I walked in and it's there now. We never saw, you never had the camera on that chair when you walked in, so that's not proof. I'm, I'm not saying it's it didn't happen, but I don't know. I mean, the experience that I had was so terrifying that there's no way I could even stay in that place. And she lasted the whole 30 minutes and everything, but... Even when I had to move out and everything, and I would go back in there to get my clothes and stuff to bring them on out, I'll bet I spent two, three hours there just getting just a few boxes out of the house because every time I would walk in there, it would come over me again. And it, it wasn't, it was like, she says, the hair standing up on her arms and everything. It was like that, but times 10 billion. It was so bad. It was I, through my whole body. 
I felt it, not just the hairs on my arms and everything. So, I don't know, it doesn't even compare to if, if what she went through was real, what I went through, I know, was so much, so much worse. Anyways, that's from Heather's Hauntings. Uh, that video is about a week old and it's got 31,000 views, so check her out. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Mean Gene, and I will see you next time.